Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 460. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 458 to 465. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to transpose a data set and have uh, our data sets listed vertically. We want it horizontally, but we want it linked. Now, I have used shown the transpose function a few different times. You highlight the whole range and transpose and then highlight whatever range it is and this is an array function so you control shift enter now that's fine people do that all the time in fact I do that quite often but if for some reason you don't want an array formula um, for example if you needed to insert which might be pretty rare here because that's actually an advantage here right you don't want to have someone mess it up and uh, by inserting a column. Arrays won't let you do that. Uh, for whatever reason, you don't want that array. Here's an alternative. You could just use the index function. Now the array will have it, uh, the whole entire array here, and F4, comma. Now, row number. As we go across here, we need to successively uh, get different rows. Right? So we'll put the columns with an S function in here. We're sitting in cell E11, so I'll say dollar sign E11, colon E11. Right? That is an incre for a number increment. Right now it'll say how many columns, E to E1. As we move across here, it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is exactly what we want for extracting rows. Now, uh, the, col the column number, uh, we only have one, two columns here, so we really need to only somehow uh, get a number one and two. We'll use the rows function because we're we'll copy down right as we go down here. We need it to go from one to two, and here uh, I'm sitting in E11, so E11, and I'm going to hit the F4 key because we'll lock it in both directions, and then comma dollar sign E11. That's it, and that will. Right now, as we go across this way, it'll remain uh, locked on the number one, so it'll give us one, 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 but when we move down, it'll give us two, which is exactly what we want, because what do we have? We have one, two columns. Control Enter, no Control Shift Enter, um, drag it down and drag it over. Now, uh, I don't think I've ever done this one. I always use this one, but if for some reason you didn't want to use that transpose, that is a clever way to do it. And even if you never use it, understanding how the columns and rows work as incrementers and being able to reverse it in your, your head, given that the columns is delivering a row number, understanding that uh, gives you some good information how Excel is set up really only in two directions. All right, we'll see you next trick.